All right, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the Talking Points app. Um, and the Talking Points app is something you can use to send translated text to parents and receive translated text back. So if you're not as comfortable, hopefully, working with uh, the, the translators or, or with uh, the language line, this might be another avenue. But hopefully, it's just talking to another person, but hopefully, you can still reach them in different ways. So uh, you'll go to this document, the talking points for GBAPS staff, and down here it says sign up for free. So we'll click into there. Um, once you get to here, just click sign in with Google. And then I'm going to choose which account I'm going to use. In this case, I have a bunch of accounts, but I'm going to use my GBAPS staff one. So I click into it. And now I have, uh, you can see the, the splash page I have for this. Um, so one of the cool things I can do is I can actually add classes. I just added this class in here, but let me just add another class. Let me say I, I have a uh, first hour history. Or if you want to put all your students in just history, you can do that, or class or geometry, or whatever it is. Um, the grade doesn't really matter, it's just for reference. Actually, history would be 10th grade, I'm sorry. So, um, <clears throat> next step is I'm going to add students. It says to add contacts manually. You could send an app or, or you could send an SMS to them to subscribe, but this is a little bit easier just to send it directly right away. So you can send a message out. So let's say I have uh, John Smith, one of my students. His mother's name is Jane Smith. Um, and you'll find, of course, this information at Infinite Campus, making sure that it's the guardian that you're sending this to, obviously. And then you'll check at Infinite Campus and see what language they speak. So here, uh, let's say I have a family who's a Spanish family. A lot of our families are in the district. <clears throat> um, and I put 920. Now let's use a landline and just see what happens. 855-646. This is an old number there. Uh, and then we have here John Smith is the name of the student. I can also add in maybe his father. His father is, uh, James. And then he's the father. The home language is still Spanish, so that will send the messages out in Spanish, and I'll receive the Spanish messages back in English. Uh, Want to make sure that's a cell phone. You'll find out if it's not pretty quickly. Ah, uh, six two nine. Just popping a number there. And let's say again, like I see, oh well, I don't know which one the mother has two cell phones, two phones listed. I don't know which one's the cell phone, one of them might not be. Um, so let's just put in Jane and just see. Uh, so I put in the mother, Spanish. And we'll just <clears throat> use the same. Um, so now what happens when I hit add, it will add the students in to that class. And you'll see that we have three contacts listed for John Smith. Um, and I can go ahead and send the family uh, messages here from that tab. So I have my first hour history class, I have John Smith. And then it's going to send out those those messages to the contacts that are listed. So I just click on there, and now anybody that I listed, any numbers that were listed on there, that are SMS will receive it. It will send the message out to them. So I can just go ahead and start creating a message. This is a, a little canned introduction that you might use. Just adjust your name, um, or uh, it'll already have your name in there because it'll be your information. I can go up here too and just choose who I want to send it to perhaps. I have mother, mother. I could just send it to one or all. Um, depending, maybe you find out like one of those numbers doesn't work. You can always edit. Um, you can always edit the student details and get rid of some of those things if you need to. So I can go here. This one that tells me, oh, this is SMS. This is SMS. This one is an invalid phone number. So let me go ahead and delete that contact. So now I have only the numbers that are actually valid for the student. Um, let's see. Um, I have only the valid numbers for the student in there. And this way, when I send it out, it should have just that information. 
Um, so yeah, this is basically how you do it. You click the send button. When you get a message, uh, you can see right here, this is how it might look. You can see I sent a message to the parent. The parent sent me a message back. I emailed the parent back and it just was back and forth basically, but they're using their text message and it comes through pretty cleanly. There might be a slight bit of uh, context that needs to be kind of thought about with the translation because I'm sure it's using just a, an algorithm for translating. But this is the basics of how to use talking points and text message your students, parents, and make sure you get contact with them.